Brussels will use the looming threat of a migrant crisis to make a grab for further controls over Europe's migration and asylum rules. A top Eurocrat said the Taliban rise to power in Afghanistan and the actions of Belarus demonstrate the need for an overhaul of the European Union's powers. Many EU governments are nervous about the developments in Afghanistan and fear they could trigger a repeat of Europe's 2015-2016 migration crisis. Dot. During that period, more than a million people arrived from war-torn countries in the Middle East, which stretched security services, welfare systems and fueled support for Eurosceptic movements. European Commissioner Marguerite Schinas, responsible for protecting the European way of life, latched onto those fears. He said, if there is one thing that the situation in Afghanistan and the actions of Belarus have shown, it is that the clock has run out on how long we can wait to adopt the complete overhaul of Europe's migration and asylum rules we need. EU foreign affairs ministers have been ordered to attend emergency talks on Tuesday afternoon to discuss the situation in Afghanistan. Josep Borrell, the EU Commission's top foreign diplomat, said the meeting will act as a first assessment, and that Afghanistan stands at a crossroad security and well-being of its citizens, as well as international security, are at play, he added. EU ambassadors on the bloc's political and security committee have this afternoon already held secret talks on the issue, and EU home affairs ministers will meet as an integrated political crisis response group on Wednesday to discuss the growing number of migrants crossing into the bloc from Belarus. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko has been accused of fueling illegal migration into the EU in revenge for sweeping sanctions imposed on his regime by Brussels. EU Commissioner Ilva Johansson, the bloc's home affairs chief, said the situations in Belarus and Afghanistan require sustainable and predictable solutions for the long term. She added, the more we, Europeanize migration and asylum policy, the more effective our response, and the less vulnerable we will be in the future. Hence my emphasis on how the new pact on migration and asylum is the way forward. The threat of a new migration crisis has already seen a rise in hardline rhetoric across the EU's capitals. Austria has vowed to keep sending home Afghans whose asylum requests failed.